Okay, who are you and what are you doing? Uh, my name is Green, uh, my name is, sorry. My name is Christian Vest. This is uh, Green Revolution Cooling's product. Okay. We have found that by using mineral oil, which is a much better uh, medium of removing heat, they were able to reduce the overall power consumption of a data center by 45%. And by removing all of the infrastructure associated with air cooling, such as raised floors, chillers, fans, uh, fans, everything else like that, you reduce your cost uh, of infrastructure by 30%. In addition, it's the fluid is non-toxic. It um, it does not have, harm the computers in any way. They're able to function uh, with very little modification. We do, uh, and it can use just about anything you can throw at it. They, Heat densities uh, are limited. We can run 100 kilowatts a rack, so um, we feel that is uh, it definitely solves a lot of problems for our customers that have been constrained by uh, power, uh, cost, uh, and, and, and any other common issues associated with high performance computing. Trying to focus in on this, but these are looks like Dell blades. In uh, here? These, these are um, these are admittedly some very old uh, Dell. Computers. Okay. You know, to, to us, they're just hair dryers. Okay. Uh, because we don't, we're not actually using them to, to run anything important. We we have we do have them pegged uh, when we have them at home, uh, running SETI at home. Here we're struggling with our internet connection, so we don't have uh, we don't have the, the data download to, to run okay. the processors. Okay. So, is this a science experiment, or are we selling this? Uh, we are selling this. It, uh, the, we are a startup. This is, uh, we are just beginning, uh -huh. but it is just now on sale. Uh, TAC, TAC, which is Texas Advanced Computing Center. Serious HPC guys. Serious yep. HPC guys have taken a uh, very close look at this and are taking the first delivery in spring of next year. Uh, we also had a number of other customers that have committed to testing, and there's a lot of uh, uh, customers, especially in the recently, that have said, you know, this could really solve a lot of our problems. We want to take a hard look at this. Doesn't smell like French fries, like the cooking oil. No, one that I've not. seen before, <laughs> which is, is good. Yes, yeah. it, is, it is not. Uh, it is not a cooking oil. It's a very specific type of mineral oil, which can can be used in uh, food. Uh, it is definitely used in food processing, but it's not uh, not the same thing you put your French fries in. Can you get the densities that uh, of compute density that you can get from more conventionally cooled? Oh yes, uh, mineral oil is a far superior medium, and you can actually get. Uh, We've done theoretical calculations. Of course, there's no hardware available to test this, mm -hmm. uh, up to 100 kilowatts. We've done the halum testing to show that with a comparable system, uh, running an hour, uh, running an hour system versus an air, the CPU stays 10 C cooler. At the same time, uh, requires almost no power to cool. You can see those are our current power consumption uh, numbers. So we're running on that. Go ahead. We're running a PUE currently of 1.01. Uh, uh, in addition, the computers have no fans. The computers use a lot less power. So, uh, so really, what we're talking about is a pump. We're talking about a pump. Yes. Going back to your original question, though, the um, the power density is, is actually unlimited. We have had a lot of OEMs come and talk to us and say, you know, this could fix a lot of the problems we're facing. Hmm. Solution, solutions like water cooling do the same thing, only with a great deal more infrastructure and a great deal more cost. Notice these things don't have uh, CD drives. Is that an issue? Uh, yes. <laughs> I'm kidding. I know. <laughs> I would imagine that that would be an issue. DVD, CD, right. spinning medium problem. That's, yeah, of course. We there's uh, there's uh, we generally say three things, but I guess four things that we do. One is of course no CD-ROM drives. Uh, yeah, I would imagine. The second is we remove the fans, which in I would imagine systems, that too. That would yeah, make some sense. Saves you twenty percent of your power. The third is that we replace the CPU heatsink grease with something a little more robust. And then the uh, the last thing is we protect the the hard drive. Okay, so though there are drives in here then. There are drives, uh, but they are sealed, I assume. Uh, yes, they are sealed. Okay. Well, drives generate a lot of heat too. They they do not nearly as much as the uh, not the like the CPU, but right. they will CPU's generate some serious heat. That's correct. Interesting stuff. Uh, what about in terms of, of buying this? You got any idea on, on what a, how the, this uh, compares with acquisition price? Uh, the when you compare it with shall we say a comparable system, a yeah. comparable air cooled system, the day one cost will be about the same or a little bit lower. So on acquisition, yes, we're just talking about just the cooling system. But however, you look at the total cost of build out. I mean, you look at the fact you don't need well the computes the compute. I mean the blades, whatever you're putting in here, oh, about the same. Oh, uh, the blade, uh, the computers, the computers, uh, computers and the cooling. Uh, the computer, uh, the computers will be about the same. Okay. Um, the the cooling system. 
uh, of just the, you know, like let's say you're comparing this to a, a crack unit, that'll be about the same as um, uh, as our as our system. Mm -hmm. However, you're not paying for raised floors, you're not paying for chillers, you're not paying a lot with a, for a lot of the other infrastructure that's uh, that normally associated with air cooling. So it saves you a significant amount. You got to get with these guys that the big vendors that are doing the um, the pots, the shipping containers. You know, liquid proof those. Fill that bad boy up with mineral oil and start dropping boxes in and see what happens. We do have uh, pod based solutions yeah. that we have investigated. Uh, and for people that are interested in that, we have information posted on our website. Interesting. Well, thanks a lot. Really appreciate the time. Good stuff. All right.